Hi everyone, Lily Gil Valera here, uh, CEO and co-founder of the market research technology firm Culture Intel. And today I'm going to share with you some new data that we mined using Culture Intel in partnership with Hitech. Hitech, as you may know, is the organization that advocates and elevates Hispanics in the tech sector. And I wanted to share with you some new highlights of a report that you can find and download on the website Consumers to makers.com consumers to makers.com and you can go there click and download it for free to see how we have been monitoring the shifting mindsets of hispanics in technology before during and after covid and sadly the big highlight is that the negative sentiment towards careers in technology keeps deteriorating meaning it's getting worse in fact the last read as of the uh, end of last year was 44% of Hispanics are negative towards careers in tech. That is versus 38% for everyone else. And that is actually worse than it was the year prior. So we thought that with COVID and maybe DNI programs, people were going to be more open or maybe excited to engage in this vibrant sector, but that's not what the numbers are showing. Now, why is that the case? Well, you can see it on the on the report. There are many reasons why, like the fact that hiring practices may not seem welcoming. Uh, many cases is not seeing yourself in the uh, positions that maybe you're inspiring to get to, which then limits your ability to see a viable growth plan or growth path uh, in that sector. But we can continue to kind of look at these and assume that it's somebody else's role that they, the companies, need to work on. Absolutely, I don't want to diminish that. But this time around, we actually went upstream. We went into analyzing the voices of Gen Z Hispanics and their parents. That is something that no one had ever done before. Could it be that the tech sector in itself maybe needs a branding overhaul because it's perceived a certain way or maybe the young people are not considering it? So check out the numbers again. You can click and download it. But here's what we found. 55% of Gen Z Latinos actually see this sector as a very exciting, prestigious, dynamic um, area of work which is awesome. Those are great news. So that means young people like it and they see it from afar and admire it. However, when it comes to entering into careers in technology, they do see, actually it's another 55% of a barrier. They see limiting thoughts and limiting factors as it relates to self-confidence, not having the right mentors, not having the right information as the things that are keeping them away from pursuing this area of work that they do see and admire as prestigious. Now, here's the interesting thing. When we looked at the parents, because the parents of those Gen Z's play a very critical role, as you can imagine, in which careers and future they choose. Well, the parents actually are hesitant towards careers in technology because they see it as a clickyish and exclusive type of sector where my kid, my son or daughter may not be fully welcomed. So they're already feeling discriminated of a sector without even trying to enter into it just from what it looks like from the outside. So could this be pointing to the fact that we should go upstream and maybe be campaigning for careers in tech in middle schools, high schools, but not just talking to the kids, but engaging the parents? When was the last time that we had a comprehensive approach to recruiting and retention that went into the broader family circle? Huh. And the data is pointing to some of that as an opportunity. And it is an opportunity for you and I, those of us that have positions and places of influence in different companies, in different sectors, where you need to tell more of your story and make sure that these young people can gain the confidence by not just being guided and mentored, but also by seeing people that look like them in positions that they aspire to get. So there you have it. The sentiment is deteriorating, but the young people love the sector. We have yet to fill 800,000 tech jobs that are out there open. So we better step it up and get more engaged in this uh, great opportunity, because if we are driving 78% of workforce growth, there is no other way that America is going to have a viable growing pipeline of talent unless we're getting to the hearts and the minds of those young people and their parents. So there you have it. Thank you so much. And don't forget, go to consumerstomakers.com, click and download the free report so that you can get all the numbers and hopefully you can take some action with them. Thank you.